Hey y'all, today I am going to show you how to make a Chanel inspired purse. You, I'm going to show you everything you need first and then we'll get started. You are going to need two 12 by 12 sheets of paper. Um, I get this shiny, I think they call it shimmer at uh, Michael's to do this with. Um, you'll need two sheets of this because one of them you're going to cut, it stays 12 inches and then you're going to cut it to 10 and a quarter inches across this way. So you have that. And then you're going to need a piece that is seven and a half by six and one eighth. That's what you're going to need for paper. Then you're going to need a corner rounder or a quarter to round your quarters your corners of your smaller piece. You're going to need scissors and glue. I use this extreme glue. It holds really well and so that's what I use. You're going to need a ruler and you'll need a cutting mat or cutting board so you can cut your paper down. You're going to need some chain and preferably one that has your little hook on the end, like that. I don't know if you can see the little hook or not. And you're going to need some eyelets so that you can, you're gonna hang your purse from those. You're gonna need two sets of those. And I think that's about it. Oh, you're gonna need your scoring board. And a, one inch punch, circle punch. So let's get started. Okay, so first of all, after you cut your paper down to size, which I've already done, and those measurements again are 12 inches by 10 and a quarter, and your smaller piece is seven and a half by six and one eighth. Okay, the first thing you're going to do is your scoring. Now you just line it up on here and you're going to score every inch. You have to turn it diagonal and you're going to score every inch. Of course, this will not fit on your scoring board perfect, so you have to turn it and rescore, but you're going to get the idea. And it slides very easily. And then just line it back up again. my scoring and it's okay if you're a little bit off it's not you know it's not gonna show up that bad so. Once you've scored it all one direction, then you need to go back and you're going to turn it the opposite way and score again at one inch intervals. I hope you can see this.
this is what's going to give you the look of the Chanel bag. You see it has the diamond pattern on it now. Okay. Then you're going to take your smaller sheet and you're going to do the same thing. You're going to score it at one inch increments again. On the diagonal. It's easier on the smaller piece because it fits on the board. Then you're going to turn it and do it again. Line it up and you're going to do it again. One inch increments which is going to give you the classic Chanel diamond pattern. And there you have hope you can see that the diamond pattern on that okay next thing you're going to do since we have this piece out we're going to take it and round the edges if you don't have a corner rounder then you could use like a quarter or something like that you know just round the corners on it so then you have these nice little round corners then back to your larger sheet on the 12 inch edge, you are going to score your paper again at five inches and at seven inches. Then turn the paper to the 10 and a quarter inch side and then you're going to score at two inches and then again at eight and a quarter so you should have two inches on this side and two inches on this side and that leaves you about I think it's six and a quarter inches in between these two score lines Then you're going to take these smaller pieces right here, the smaller score, and you're going to cut those just to the score line, to the larger score line. You do that on both sides. Then you're going to fold at all your score lines. Fold all your score lines up. So basically you have Then you're going to take your glue, and I usually take a scrap piece of paper or some notebook paper or something of that sort to, so that I don't get glue all over everything. And you can do, you know, however you feel is the best for you. 
So the first you're going to do is take these little flaps and you're going to put glue on those. fold them up into one half of your little purse. And be sure and push those down real good. So you have like, looks kind of like a pizza box. Okay. Then, you want to take your sides and you're going to glue those when you glue along that. And glue both sides of this. onto your little bag and push that down real good. So what you end up with is this little this aside and let it dry let the glue dry real good and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your your piece that you cut and you rounded the corners on and this is going to go where you have your edge it's going to start on the back and what eventually it's going to do is roll down and then you'll have your little your little bag. So that's about two inches on there. What I usually do is kind of fold it up to figure out where it's going to end and then it looks like it's going to be right around this, this area here. You can take your hole punch or if you have a um, smaller round circle punch you can do that and you're gonna poke two holes one on each side and that is about three and a half inches to the center three and a half inches to the center and this is where your rivets are gonna go so you'll want to do that now and put your rivets in. I got these at a sewing store. I think I got, I might have got them at Joann's. So you want to do that. So you have your rivets and then you're going to hammer those down. <coughs> Excuse me. You're going to hammer those down. And I'm just going to get something to hammer them on. Hold on just a second. I'm sorry. You don't want to hammer them down on your desk. So. This is 
probably going to make the camera shake, but. that was going to happen. Sorry about that. We're back now. <laughs> okay. So, you measure that again, you know, put it back up on your bag. Okay. Then you're going to glue this at about two inches. So at about two inches. You're going to take your glue and glue all this real good. Okay. And you're going to glue that to the back of your bag. And then line it up on the back. There we go. See how I line how it's lined up? And press that down really good. So there you this is pretty much what you have. Okay, so once you've glued the back on, glued it to the back, you should have a little box with a flap. Okay. Now, next what you're going to do, you're going to take these your little circles that you cut out. I don't know if I showed you that, but just punch some one inch circles. Oops, I didn't do that one good. You have some one inch circles. You're going to glue those to a magnet. Put the shiny side out. Then you're going to take your other magnet and try to center it, you know. Then you're gonna take your other magnet and do the same thing. And this just kinda helps hide your magnet. Now, I'm gonna set those aside and let those dry. And while we are waiting for those to dry, we're going to work on your chain. So you have your little bag, and this is what it's going to look like pretty much when you get done. And you have your little eyelet holes. You're going to take your chain, and run it through. Now. Your chain can be longer than this or shorter than this, um, whichever way you want to run it. You'll have to run it through one side from the inside and then over through the other side. And then depending upon how long you want your chain, you'll just hook it like you would, you know, a necklace. And I think I want my chain to be about that long. So I'm going to chain, hook it on. So then you have your little chain. Now the excess chain, you can cut that off. You can leave it, whatever you want to do. I usually cut mine off just because 
it's just more stuff to deal with. So I cut that off. And then you have your chain for your bag. If you want it shorter than that, you can make it shorter. If you want it longer than that, you can make it longer. It's up to you. These are not dry yet. So we're gonna wait for those to dry. Okay, so you have your two magnets glued to your dots. Make sure your polarity's right. And you're going to, at about three, inch, three in, inches, you're going to glue down your magnet. With the shiny side up. And then with the other magnet, you're gonna do the same thing. Oops, if you remove it. And you're going to glue that at about three inches to the inside of your bag. And you'll have to hold it and let it dry. Then if you close your bag, and line your magnets up, It will hold it. So there you have your little closed bag. So you need to let that dry. So I will pause here and I will be back. Okay, so now your dots have dried and you're going to take your little Coco Chanel emblem, which I think you can buy these on eBay or I'm not sure where people are finding them. I bought them from another lady and so I'm not exactly sure where you can get them, but I think I saw some on eBay. You might even can buy them on Amazon. And you're gonna add your logo to the bag and put that right over the top of your magnet in the center and you'll have to let that dry also I got this little one to put on the back of the bag and you just glue that one down in the corner and you let that dry okay so now that your glue has dried all that's left to do is close it up and you'll have to kind of roll your top a little bit and there you have it your little Coco Chanel inspired bag and then you just load it up with your little goodies and that's it thank you I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you make your own if you do please post it in the comments I'd love to see it y'all have a great day